Hi, I'm Scott Hamilton, Rockfile, back with another podcast review for your ears. And this is going to be a really short one because I want to do a second one later. We're going to talk about the new The Suicide Squad. I had to make the distinction there, putting the V in front of it, which is part of the problem on why this movie underperformed. Short review is, don't look at the Rotten Tomatoes of 91%, the Metacritic of 74%, and the fact that uh, 87% of Google users liked it. This is one of the better DC movies, but it is not for everyone. Uh, a lot of people are going to be taken aback by this movie for the extreme violence, the crazy all over the place story, a lot of characters that are just uh, introduced and kind of thrown into the mix, some that are thrown in for a very short period of time. Got to stay away from all spoilers because to really talk about the movie, uh, you know, this two hour and 12 epic that they spent $185 million on, I will have to do a much longer podcast. I want to keep this spoiler free. I love James Gunn. I love what he did with the Guardians of the Galaxy movies. I enjoyed Super, but it wasn't my favorite. I like Slither. I, I, I like his mind, but not every movie he's ever made gets knocked out of the park in my viewing experience. And this was one of those where I'm watching it going, this is amazing. They let him take chances. They let him fill it full of jokes. Not all of them work. It depends on your sense of humor, but more hit than don't. Um, they brought back a few characters from the Suicide Squad movie. Is it better than the original Suicide Squad movie? Absolutely. It's definitely more entertaining, better acted, better put together, all that stuff. But it's also much more chaotic, and that that's part of the mind of James Gunn. Um, he did some little flourishes, some little things that I really appreciated, some, some creative uh, transitions from one scene to another, things like that, really like that. But in other times, I just went, this, this, is, this was the decision to go here? Unfettered, unheld back James Gunn is still better than most other generic uh, action movies, generic superhero movies. But again, going to see something when you're used to what's come before in DC and what's come before in Marvel, this really doesn't fit any of those things. And it's not like Guardians of the Galaxy, other than you've got this weird cast of characters having to work together. Um, and that's part of the problem with the movie. I didn't find the characters as endearing. Really liked John Cena. Really liked Margot Robbie. Um, the King Shark character is funny. Uh, Idris Elba, of course. But when the movie was over and it kind of ends where it could just end and it could be a one-off, and I think that's great, I didn't really need to spend any more time with anybody here. And I love how Margot Robbie plays Harley Quinn. She's in the movie a lot. She's pretty much the main star, still could have done with more of her. Um, cutting back and forth at certain times also is like, I know what you're doing here. I get it. Um, I don't know that it always worked. So I think this is a movie that critics like because it's like, wow, this is the breath of fresh air from the DC side of things. It's actually a decent movie. But on the flip side, it's silly and over the top to the nth degree. It, I mean, the, the big bad, it, it's incredibly silly looking. It's supposed to be. I get it. Like I said, I get all the comedy behind this. It's just, I don't know that it all worked for me. But again, one of the best DC movies? Absolutely. Outside of the first two Nolan Dark Knight movies, this would be the first one I'd pick up before Aquaman or Shazam or, or Justice League, except for the four-hour Justice League, which I also really, really enjoyed. But keeping this review short, just know what you're getting into. Incredibly rated R graphic violence, rated R situations. It is funny, but it's also, oh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> and it is definitely the, the full mind of James Gunn going crazy with a giant budget. Special effects are great. The action is great. Not taking anything away from this movie. I just think people were going to see 91% uh, Rotten Tomatoes and think this is the best comic book movie ever made. I think there are about 50% of the audience is going to go. It wasn't, you know, um, I really enjoyed it. May not add it to my collection, I might. I haven't decided yet. That's how I walked out of the movie. I walk out of most Marvel movies saying, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to get that. I, I picked up some of the DC movies because there was a director's cut or a really great version of the film came out in 4K, uh, which was the case with Aquaman. That movie looks incredible in 4K with HDR. It, it, it is a showpiece for a great TV and a great setup. 
that's pretty much the reason I own it because it's not one of my favorite DC movies. And, and watching it again and again, there's parts I really like. But again, I think the entire DC line of movies could have used with some editing, could have used with one person being behind this to say, you know, we need to keep this in line with this. Um, you still had Zack Snyder as an executive producer on this movie, so it's still got some Snyderisms to it. And James Gunn is very happy with it. The actor is very happy with it. I was very happy with the movie. Don't, it's not a bad film at all. It just didn't blow me away like I had hoped it would. It's it's very well done. It's a lot of what I expected, and a lot of I didn't expect it to quite to be that silly, you know. <laughs> but overall, if you've got HBO Max, I would watch it there. If you miss the theatrical experience, I would go see it in IMAX. It looks amazing. All of the money they spent on the movie is up on the screen. But to get any further into any of the things I like or dislike about it, I gotta talk about spoilers, and we'll do that in another review. So, definitely check out The Suicide Squad if it sounds like something you would be interested in, with the caveats I've also mentioned. I'm Scott Hamilton, Rockfile. Check out therockfile.com for my links. Please like, share, and subscribe, and have a fantastic day. Mm-hmm.